Welcome back, everybody. Today and tomorrow marks the 11th annual Notre Dame Day. It's a time when students, alumni, parents, and friends from all over the world come together to support important causes and all things Notre Dame. So we're coming together with folks over at Notre Dame to talk about what this is, who it impacts. We've got Katie Kirby from campus. She made a stop here on a busy day. So Katie, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Excited to be here. And we are excited to have you here. Let's talk about Notre Dame Day for folks who may not know. What is it? Yeah, so Notre Dame Day is a global celebration of all things Notre Dame. It's an annual opportunity for us to do live storytelling, to celebrate the good things that have happened on campus in the local community and the around the world through the Notre Dame family over the past year. And it's also an opportunity for student groups, for residence halls, for campus departments, for local community causes to fundraise for the things that they care about most on campus. So our team works to secure, um, with the help of generous benefactors, $500,000 in wow. prize money so that students and um, faculty members who are fundraising on this day, their efforts will be furthered um, and it makes it much more incentivizing for them to participate. So yeah. it's a celebration. It's also a, a good crowdfunding opportunity. And you just talked about it really, but I want you to hit on it again. It happens once a year, so the importance of this is truly, really important for you all. Oh yeah, it's critical. It's critical for students on campus because when a student comes to Notre Dame, we know they're going to get a good education, but so much of the Notre Dame experience is wrapped up in other things that you can get engaged in on campus, whether that's your residence hall or a student club or um, being at sporting events, um, participating in sporting yeah. events, being in the local community, and none of that is funded by tuition. That's all funded through these other organizations at Notre Dame, and so it's critical to ensure that the Notre Dame experience happens. It's also really critical for the local community. Last year yeah. on Notre Dame Day, um, there's $81,000 raised for the local community. I hope we do even more this year. That's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, being invested in the local South Bend community is something that we care about deeply for our students and this day helps make that possible. That's a question a lot of people always have when it comes to Notre Dame Day. They talk about how does it impact the local community. Mm. I guess my question is if you didn't go to Notre Dame can you still take part in this day? Is it important for a lot of folks kids to do that? Absolutely okay. yeah. So if you live in the local community we hope you swing by Duncan Student Center at some okay. point this evening or tomorrow to see the live broadcast. Um, but anyone can participate in Notre Dame Day either making a gift or watching um, the live broadcast and celebrating the stories alongside us. Um, there are also a lot of students and then local community members who are fundraising on this day. So an example, Robinson Community Learning Center, yeah. um, they always do very well on Notre Dame Day. Last year they raised $22,000 wow. to fund some of the initiatives and programs mm -hmm. that they have in place this year. Adopt a Family Christmas Initiatives pro provides uh, Thanksgiving meals and Christmas gifts for families in South Bend who are in need. Um, and there's 25 other causes that are fundraising Wow. Um, on this day just embedded in the local community so it's something for everyone yeah you talked about Robinson Community Center and that that is something that has a very strong relationship strong ties with Notre Dame for obvious reasons uh, let's talk about it you just touched on a little bit the live broadcast what does that look like what does it include people can actually see how things go on behind the scenes too at Duncan Student Center yeah it's very fun as somebody who's not previously in the entertainment world it always <laughs> shocks me yeah. how big of a production it is yeah. um, but though there will be a broadcast tonight from 6 42 p.m. Um, Eastern time through midnight tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and then tomorrow night from 6:42 again through midnight. We'll have a slew of um, entertainment and live performances. We'll be talking to a lot of um, Notre Dame celebrities, head coaches, people that are uh, flying in that are um, more well known in the Notre Dame family. We'll be highlighting um, some of the great work that students have done all throughout the year. There'll be a lip sync battle, um, a cake really? decorating contest. What? So it's always fun to watch. We hope people tune in. You can tune in at Notre Dame Data. Yeah. What, last question. What is your favorite part of all this, being a part of this every single year? Yeah, for me, really it goes back to providing students with an opportunity to do what they care about most when they're on campus. If a student comes to Notre Dame and, you know, they get a good education and they make some friends, fine. But really a part of our mission is to create leaders who are forces for good in the world. And they can't do that unless they get invested in other things that happen on campus. And so this is one very tangible way to be a small part of it, um, which I always enjoy. Uh, so That's great. We appreciate you and everyone at Notre Dame and every benefactor out there there. Again, we'll have everything on WNU.com as well on how you can take part in Notre Dame Day. Katie Kirby, thank you. We yeah, appreciate thank it. Thank you so much for having me. We'll be right back.